NICE has been reviewing the methods and processes it uses to evaluate new medicines and other healthcare technologies. In the concluding phases of this review, NICE is consulting on proposed changes. The introduction of a new severity modifier to replace the current end-of-life modifier is an important change that is being proposed. How does NICE make a decision and what is a modifier? The main thing NICE focuses on when making a decision is the incremental cost effectiveness ratio or ISA. The ISA estimates how much a medicine costs to provide one quality or quality adjusted life year, which is one additional year in perfect health. NICE will usually decide a medicine is value for money for the NHS if it costs between 20,000 and 30,000 pounds per quality. A modifier increases the value of the qualities provided by the medicine. It means NICE is prepared to pay more for a medicine if they judge it to be treating a severe disease. By applying a quality weighting, it decreases the ISA, making the medicine more cost effective. The proposal to introduce a severity modifier was supported in NICE's first consultation, reflecting views that the value of qualities provided to patients with severe diseases should be more than those with less severe diseases. NICE's committees also consider other factors that are important beyond the ISA, but the severity modifier will have the most influence on the committee's view of the cost effectiveness of a medicine. What is proportional shortfall? NICE is proposing to consider two severity measures to decide whether to apply a modifier. One of them is proportional shortfall, which looks at the quality and quantity of life lost because of a disease, considering the existing treatment available to the patient. Let's look at a simplified example. A person is expected to have 10 qualities, but gets a disease which means they will only have 5 qualities. The proportional shortfall is the number of qualities they have lost because of the disease, divided by the number of qualities they were expected to have without the disease. In this case, that gives us a proportional shortfall score of 0.5. If the disease means the patient will lose more qualities, you can see that the proportional shortfall score gets higher and closer to 1. The more life-threatening the disease, the higher the proportional shortfall score will be. If a medicine is treating a severe disease based on this score, then it's deemed to be higher value for the NHS. What is absolute shortfall? The second measure NICE will consider when deciding whether to apply the severity modifier is absolute shortfall. This measures the severity of the disease by considering qualities lost, but it does so in an absolute way. It gives a positive number that is not bound between 0 and 1. If we look at a simple example, we can see the absolute shortfall is just the number of qualities the person with the disease loses. So, if they lose 5 qualities, the absolute shortfall is 5. If they lose more qualities, the absolute shortfall number increases. The absolute shortfall will be high when the loss of qualities over the patient's life is large. So for example, conditions that are not immediately life-threatening but have a significant impact on the health of a patient over time. If a medicine is treating a severe disease based on this score, then it is deemed to be higher value for the NHS. NICE currently uses a modifier which assigns more value to the benefits provided by medicines that offer patients three or more additional months when their life expectancy is short. The proposal to replace the current end-of-life modifier with the new severity modifier will provide a broader definition of severity that considers both quantity and quality of life and better reflects evidence on what society values. The new severity modifier will benefit patients with a wider range of conditions, for example, musculoskeletal, inflammatory and mental health, in addition to cancer, which the current end-of-life modifier mostly focuses on. It will support access to medicines which treat very severe diseases.